Hi guys, Jamsview here. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will do simple interior animation. Like this. For the model file, I will put the download link file in the description. Ok then, let's start. This is a SketchUp file I downloaded from the internet. As you can see, this is a very nice model with complete texture. What I usually do is setting up my camera first. Go to Media, Create Image. Make sure you set up your view properly. Click more, camera settings, focal length around between 30 to 34. Parallelism on. Now set value for near clipping, so it cut the wall for better view. After setting your camera view, don't forget to click the refresh icon on your image. Set your image format to 4K. For renderer settings. Set samples per pixel value to 1000, aliasing filtering 1 for sharper image. Max bounce is 12. After that go to your lighting settings. Set your environment to backdrop HDRI. Change HDRI maps for better lighting. I will put the free download site for the HDRI maps. Rotate your HDRI maps till you see some sun rays inside your scene. Set intensity to 2. Change also your ambient value to 2 for more brightness in your scene. Set your sun intensity to 1 for sharper shadow. Take note that this is for rendering image settings only. Now, it's time to modify our interior scene. First is to change the reflection value of the materials. For wall panel, set reflection value to 60%. Floor slab reflection value to 60%. For the wall near the window put reflection value to 50%. Window panels set to 70% reflection. For the reflective objects, just set value between 70% to 90%. Just follow my lead for remaining objects when setting up reflection. Now, we finished setting our material reflection. I found out that window glass is missing. One thing I really like about Winmotion is we can put primitive objects and scale it according to the window size. Just go to objects, click primitive objects and choose box 1 meter. Put it near the window. Scale it approximately according to window size.
Change material to glass. Duplicate it to the other panel. Duplicate again and drag it to the main window. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Scale it until it fits. See preview, good. Just double check if we miss some material that does not have reflection. Now it's time to put some internal lightings into our scene. I will be using area lights for the cove lightings. For the area light, make sure that the shadows are on. Adjust it till we achieve the right positioning. For the final setting parameter for the area lights, just follow this. For intensity input value to 2. Length to 6 meters. Width 0.2 meters. Attenuation to 6 meters. See preview. Good. Duplicate it to the other side. Rotate it 90 degrees and place properly. I think we're almost done. To add more depth to our materials, we need to create normal maps and add it to our bump materials. Do this, go to the site. I will put the link in the description box. Open the site, drag the diffuse material and adjust the strength, level and blur sharp. Download the created normal maps. Make sure that the downloaded maps is the same folder with the default texture materials. Rename the normal maps related to your diffuse maps, so it will be easier locating your normal maps. Now that we have our normal material, 
We can add it to our material parameters. Select your material, go to settings. Under bump tab, click more and look for the normal map that we created. As you can see, it really have effect especially in the texture of the materials. Do this procedure for remaining materials. Okay, for the final touch, we need to add some trees near the window. You can always use native vegetation direct from Twinmotion or use your own library. Again guys this current setting is for rendering image only. Later on, we will do some changes for the animation. Just double checking the renderer settings and lighting settings. I think this both are the factors for a beautiful rendering. This will be settings when comes to rendering images. Now it's time to export our first image. It took me around 8 minutes to render this image. For the animation, we will just duplicate the image into video, so we will not do again the settings both in the renderer and lighting settings. But do this, while your image 1 is active. Go to media, click video and create video. Move in the viewport and click the plus symbol to create camera walkthrough. Now, we have our first scene. We need to change some settings to minimize the export time. Set your samples per pixel value to 500. Firefly brightness to 0. Aliasing filtering to 2. I think we're good to go. If you want to add more scene, you can do the same procedure with our first video scene. Finally export video. For the exporting time, this may be very defending on your computer specification. For me, for 10 seconds long clip, it took my computer to export around 20 plus hours. You can always reduce the exporting time by changing your video format to 2K. Or you can lower the samples per pixel value to 256 and bounces to 6. But bear in mind that you will not get the same quality result. That's all guys, thank you for watching. Please do support my channel for more content.